Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Birmingham. He's 28 years old, stands six feet, one inch tall, and weighed in at 84 kilos. He fights out of UTC, and tonight is his debut in the cage. Let's hear it for Nathaios of Frederick. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Tamworth. He's 24 years old, stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, and weighed in at 80 kilos. He fights out of CBM, and tonight is his debut in the cage. Let's hear it for John Abans. <laughs> We're with the middleweights in the blue corner. Matthias Fedrick fighting out of UTC. He's in the white shorts. His opponent, John Barnes, is the name I thought I wouldn't be announcing at an MMA competition. Fighting out of CBM MMA in the red corner. Barnes has got the black shorts on. Fedrick has the white shorts on. Nursing straight away. Fedrick, a much rangier fighter. And look at those nice strikes coming in. Barnes looking to close the distance as well. He might with that kind of strike. And Truly really explosive with those hands. Yeah, that impressed me. I'll be honest, Frederick came out uh, like a Sherman tank with those shots. And Barnes just shrugged it off, looped under, went for the double. Barnes surely driving for that takedown to see if he can get it. He's relentless, isn't he? I mean, that's got to be the strategy against somebody like that. He's felt the power of those strikes. There's a nice knee to the body. And Frederick looking to land those strikes. And there's a big takedown. Oh, that, that... That really hit the deck. Big hammer fist from Frederick. He wants to finish this, and he wants to finish it now. An incredibly big takedown. What a powerful individual Frederick is. And now he moves into the side control in the crucifix position. That looks like curtains to John Barnes. I can't see a lot more from this position. That's not a good position. That's that's got to be a strong finish from Frederick. Credit though, Barnes has uh, managed to wangle an arm free. He, he's hanging tough, but I mean, for how long? These are some big shots coming in. Just can't Federick's go on. got Federick's got all the time in the world. I can't see if they're landing, but I'm assuming they are. I mean, it looks like Barnes has got a hand across, so maybe not. But now they're that's, landing plumb, as you can yeah. see. That's bad. He's he's isolated the other arm. Excuse me. And he's 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 given up. Well, Barnes is back up to his credit and is looking to come forward. Yeah, Fed almost looks like he enjoyed that. Federick's mouth opened a little bit. I mean, obviously, he expended a lot of energy trying to get that finish. There's going that. for that takedown, but a very good spawn from Federick. Yeah, that, that should actually be in the MMA book for dummies on how to sprawl. That was very good. Exploded backwards and just thrust those hips out. Barnes, to his credit, is relentless with that takedown and is trying to drive forward. But trying to take somebody down who's continually stuffing your takedowns is so fatiguing. Amen to that. I've been there myself. It looks to me as though Barnes is a man with a game plan and his game plan involves getting Frederick on his backside. Oh, he's got to be Big careful. A huge that, knee. That was... A clearly illegal knee. Yeah, that was very naughty. Knee to a downed opponent is not in the rules. Referee Leon Roberts admonishing, or he will be, excuse me. He's having a quick word with Barnes now just to ascertain how much damage he feels has been done. At any point, he can bring the doctors in if, if there is a medical complication with it. So I think we're likely, I don't think uh, we're looking Barnes, at a point off in this situation. Yeah, I think we're going to see a point off personally, and I don't think that uh, Barnes could. would want to. Yeah, it looks very lightly. Yeah, and Robert signals to all the judges. One point for an illegal knee. And it clearly was. Ala, Michael Bispin, Jorge Rivera, in a lot of respects, really caught his man flush. But Barnes, to his credit, is good to go. He is. He looks as fresh as a daisy. There's those yeah. strikes coming again, and Barnes driving for the takedown, but once again, that dictionary definition sprawl really helping him out. Yeah, so we see the same thing again. Barnes coming in for the takedown. Frederick not letting him have it. He's got to be careful with those knees from that position. Already yeah. having a point deducted. 
Yeah, Federick's mm -hmm. landing a lot of strikes here, and Barnes looking to lock up the half guard. And that's the end of the round, an action-packed first round, and a bit of afters, it seems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of frustration there between both parties. As we get ready for the second round, I mean, it's got to play on Federick's mind a little bit because let's be honest, he expended all that energy. He did enough to win the round. And then that one moment, that one flash has cost him a point. And conceivably, that's a 9-9 round now. So we're all even and all still to play for. He certainly will be feeling frustrated and you take into account that he was potentially seconds away from winning that fight with that crucifix. Barnes once again over that takedown, but it's in these positions when Federick breaks that Barnes leaves himself vulnerable. And Federick's got to really pick his shots from this position. Absolutely. Can't afford to waste any energy or to leave yourself open. Barnes relentlessly driving forward. He's not letting go of that leg and going for that takedown. He might do once those body shots come raining in, though. Yeah, that might change his game plan a little bit. Some very nice angles from Frederick there. And there's some big shots coming in now. I don't think Barnes is going to be able to stop these. Frederick's got all the leverage in the world and he's landing these strikes. Once again, he's got to be careful of the position of those knees. Yeah. Federick really overwhelming his man from this from this position. Yeah, there we can see referee Leon Roberts is telling Barnes he's got to do something, and that's it. A convincing win there. Look at the look of satisfaction on Nathias Federick's face. That's what should have happened in round one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. After one minute and 15 seconds of round two, your winner due to referee stoppage from ground and pound from the blue corner, the Thayers of Frederick. Well, let's hear it for a very gallant runner-up. Let's hear it for John Barnes.